what we have here is the German FFG, FFG PMMC G5, which is a multi press carrier developed by the company as a private venture to meet future export requirements. And to me, it's the nearest thing which has come to the M113 replacement. It's got a a diesel engine coupled to an automatic transmission. In the APC role, it'll probably have a crew of commander, gun and driver and carry eight dismounts. Inside, it's got a lot of volume and it can be rapidly re-rolled for different missions. For example, as, as an armor personnel carrier, command post, engineer vehicle, medical evacuation, so on. Also, what is very interesting, it's got rubber band tracks. Most vehicles of this type have steel tracks. They are, one, they are noisy, they are, he uh, are very heavy, they cause lots of vibration. Rubber band tracks are quieter, lighter, have stealth characteristics, and also provide a much better ride for their crew. They also have less rolling resistance, which gives a bit of an increase in range. And you see this vehicle has got a pleak armor for higher level protection. On the front here, we have cameras for situational awareness. And if we look on the top, this has got a, a remote control turret armed with a 30mm Bushmaster cannon, a 7.62 coax machine gun, and as an option, a pod of two anti-tank guided missiles. It also has two sighting systems, so inside you can have the commander and the gunner, and either of those could detect the target and lay the weapon onto the target. Um, it's done all its trials and it's ready for production. And obviously, FFG would prefer production to come from the production line in Germany when that's established. But as a number of countries want technology, there is always the possibility of a technology transfer to allow it to be manufactured in your own country. So there it is with a very powerful weapon station, good level of protection and a high level of mobility.